we show too much interest in unhappiness we discuss our unhappiness time and time again just listen to people they go on lamenting about their unhappiness again and again but they never sing when they are happy people go on talking about their troubles to each other as if their troubles are of great news they discuss their troubles as if they have performed a great feat by being unhappy but why does a person dwell so much on his suffering he doesn't understand that he is committing suicide by dwelling on his suffering because the more you dwell on something the more attention you give to something you make it more substantial by discussing unhappiness your unhappiness accumulates by discussing your worries your attention is diverted to your problems it becomes concentrated on them by dwelling on your suffering it only intensifies and it gives birth to even more suffering because you become an expert on whatever you nurture whenever a person discusses his problems it only means one thing he's trying to get some sympathy from somebody else he's trying to get some love from somebody else he does not talk about his happiness because nobody sympathizes with happiness the world has become such that people today are jealous of a happy person with this fear in his heart that people will be jealous of him nobody will sympathize with him he does not talk about his happiness people dwell on their misery on their suffering man is hungry for sympathy he craves love but you need to understand that the sympathy somebody is expressing after listening to your troubles is not love and if you have gained this interest in life of collecting sympathy from others then you will start dwelling on even imaginary sufferings you will start dwelling on sufferings that have not even happened and then slowly you will create a way for these sufferings to happen in your life express your happiness release your unhappiness in solitude when you are alone do not make it a habit of getting love and sympathy from others because of your suffering shut the doors cry shout if you want to but do not discuss your misery with others do not discuss your misery unless they cannot help you do not discuss your misery only for sympathy and love and no matter how much sympathy we try to show someone who talks too much about his troubles in the end we all try to avoid him we prefer not to meet him at all because he manages to share his unhappiness with us too and if we try to lend a ear to his troubles just in hope that he might stop soon and then we will get a chance to talk about our miseries in this way an exchange of miseries go on just put a full stop to talking about your suffering your suffering is your own affair it is better you deal with it by yourself this does not mean that you should suppress your suffering you should definitely express it but let it be to the empty sky above so that it will not be a burden to anybody and do not ask for sympathy by relating your sufferings let your misery be released in solitude let it go whenever you are with someone let your happy memories surface let your happiness sing and dance live your happiness try to at least reduce the suffering of the other person a little the more you live this happiness the more your happiness will increase the more you start remembering your happy moments the more you start moving into deeper happiness whatever we pay attention to grows attention is a channel for growth grow your happiness not your suffering